Hey, welcome to another day in the life of Final Fantasy. Let's get going. If you're watching this in the future, and I know you are, because no one's watching it now. <laughs> um, anyway, if you're... Whoa, one second. Excuse me as I run away. If you're watching in the future, feel free to join me on stream whenever the heck and chat and watch or lurk or whatever. I don't mind. So here we are. Um, yesterday we got the second of four elemental crystals lit by defeating Mareleth. The Fiend of Fire within Mount Golg. And we heard about a cave of ice, which I just happened to know the exact location of. And we're on our way there to get a Leveth Stone, which is probably there because somebody said they needed one. And I mean, we're, we're, just, we're just going for it. We just kind of do whatever we want. We're light warriors. We just go around the world. Light warrior ring and babbling rambling love to ramble ramble on it's very bad singing just uh, i promise i can sing better than that <laughs> all right let's go neo true ow Good XP. Let's go around the maze of rivers. Maze of rivers. Okay, moving right along. Okay, fine, I'll fight. Ow, ow, ow.
All right, here we are. Are you prepared to enter the nightmare? Well, that looks pretty. All right. This is easily the most evilly designed dungeon in the game. I'll just wait till later on so you see why. Oh, level up! All right, got some stuff, some things, got a little more junk, and some other stuff. I missed that pop-up there, I wonder what it was. Maybe I got an achievement. I'll have to look in a minute, huh? White Dragon. I don't remember these living out here. Oh, that wasn't even hard. Okay. Oh, and thankfully, I do have some ice element protection from some armor I picked up in the volcano. So that's good. I'm pushed by dark wizards. See how this goes. That's not bad. Hey, yeah, they died. And now they're in the bestiary. Don't like these. Die, please. Thank you. Okay, thanks. I can! Yay! Escapade! Spectre General! Get him, boys!
Okay. Now to pick up as much uh, junk as we can. Fire, fire. Good, good. This treasure chest gives me bad energy feelings. Okay. That might not be too bad. Maybe. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Ow, okay. One hit. Boom. Okay, that's not bad. All right, what'd we get? Clothes, just as expected. We wouldn't want to have any of our light warriors going about naked, would we? Flame sword, okay. Yeah, we'll put the flame sword on warrior since because he's, you know, he. Ah, he jumps in a hole. You know, because he's the warrior and uh, shooting at the walls of heartache, bang bang. Since this is an NPC basically triggering this battle, I wonder if it'll be not present for the second pass through this room. Usually you have to run this battle twice per dungeon. Wolf. No fire out. There we go. Ow. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. <gasps> that barely hurt. Thunder wasn't so good. There we go. Monsters! White dragon times two. Preemptive strike even, okay. Let's just straight fight battling. 
Oh, did Sharoon take him out in one hit too? Nice. And that's worth an ice armor for our trouble. Go on then. Get out of here. Head south. Oh look, it's Jason Ramirez. I was worried that this would be difficult, but this is way easier feeling than classic FF1. Maybe, maybe I'm overleveled? I didn't think I was? Maybe I'm just... I don't know. This just doesn't feel like the same sense of danger I was expecting. Maybe it's because we haven't got to the boss yet. Monsters, winter wolves. All right. I think we got this. So, how's your day today? Anything exciting happen? Winter Wolves are no more. We get a bunch heck a, a, a bunch load of gill. And more monsters. I'm getting a little tired of this group actually. Okay, this is starting to feel a little dangerous. But not anymore. <laughs> Level up! Oh gosh, almost five... I can't talk today. Almost 600 hit points on Goose. Got Sharoon with some gains, small gains. Dagger. Vivi with the intellect up. Good stuff. And a little gill. And a lot more gill. Alright, that's all on this floor, I do declare. Don't forget to heal before I run off. Woo! Alright, looks good to me. One and done. Ooh, achievement unlocked. Veteran Treasure Hunter. That's 50% of all chests opened, I believe.
Blood bones. These are hardly hardly worth the effort now. On the other hand, easy to get rid of. Quick money. Quick XP. Preemptive, might as well go for it. Get a free round of fight. Vectors. Just get gone. Go, go, go. Boom, boom, boom. Sharoon can't wear anything yet, but soon enough, maybe, you'll learn how. Okay, and here's a hole. Are we ready to hop into danger? Yeah. What's this? Oh my. Oh, it's a fight. Evil Eye. Is it undead? I don't know. Okay. Oh my goodness, what? Uh, uh, well, sense of danger, utterly destroyed. I am... <laughs> I, I'm shocked, I don't know what to say. Except you obtain a love stone. And onward and outward. Drop down again. Oh, okay. The monster came back. All right. I was hoping, hoping we'd only have to do it once, but here he is again, back for more. Nine goosies. All right, let's get him. We're gonna bake some ghosts. Bake, bake. Bake bake. Oh, come on, somebody. There we go. And they're done. Jason Ramirez again, trying to sing us another song. Save any more magic? Let's just roast everything. There they go. Bye bye. Hey, this room looks familiar.
Almost there. And we're out! We are out! Oh my gosh, we are out east, boys! Look at all this money. Two, six, nine, six, nine, six, nine, six, nine. Okay, I'm done. And on we go. Back around the river. Fight a couple Anaconda. Because why not? I'm feeling saucy. Let's go. Rolling down the river. <sighs> sleepy. Now she was making sleepy. You don't think that's how they get you, is it? They make you sleepy, then they eat you while you're sleeping. Nah, that couldn't be. Could, could, could it? Vivini's help. Almost there, come on. Back in the ship. Oops. Ah, sorry. Just, just real quick, gonna look at this map here. Numbers, numbers. Chaos Shrine. 24, 4, uh, 15, so we got everything, okay. I thought so, but it's always nice to be able to check. It's a fun feature. Let's get them, boys! There they go. Alright. I technically don't have to park the ship at the harbor, but I feel like it. I'm gonna. Where am I going? Alright. Dundaga, why not? Boom, shakalaka. Oh, 
Uh, why am I down here? What am I doing? Oh, uh oh, uh oh. What in the heck? Let's just put this octahedron of levitation on the sand, and lo and behold, what what occurs? What travesty? Oh. It just hops up out of the ground. Just it's like, foo! You obtain an airship, just like that. That's how it's done. Ah, oh, boy, I... Ah, goodness. I got trolled by the RNG. I got trolled. Only thing it could have done better is say, Rickroll. Look at that. Oh nice, and it tells you when you can disembark too. Alright. Let's check out the world to the north. Why is my shadow, like, red? Oh. Okay, I get it, I get it. That shows you that you can't land there. It looks pretty funny in general, though. Like, I've never, you know, felt like I had a need for my shadow to turn red to tell me I can't land. Alright, in any case, this is where we want to be now. We're going to check out these islands. Hop inside and uh, uh, speak with the natives. and steal their food. You do not fear me. You have some spine in you, human. Did I just make that dragon pronounce you with an H? I don't think it's the first time I've done that either. I need to watch that. Dry ether. Oh my gosh, a new type of ether. Gold needle. Oh wow. Amazing, incredible, stupendous. Okay, let's check out the map. It puts all the maps together in one super map. That's that's all right. I don't mind that. Do I? I don't think I do. Have you spoken with our king, Bahamut? The, the, the Dragon King confers a great honor upon the brave. It is customary for dragons to venture northeast to the Citadel of Trials. There we must test our mettle by claiming a token of courage from within. Token of courage, test of mettle, alright. The form of the token of courage changes with the times. Do not let its appearance deceive you. Changes with the times. Hmm. So maybe it used to be a Rolex watch and now it's an iPhone? Is this what? I don't know.
This is the chamber of Bahamut, the Dragon King. Mind your tongue, lest you lose it. The Dragon King looks within to measure a person's true courage. I am the Dragon King, Bahamut. I confer honor upon those whose strength and courage are true. Return to me with a token of your courage. <sighs> oh my gosh, that was scary. Wow. I had to run. You know that feeling where you walk into a cave and all of a sudden there's a dragon king offering to test your courage? That's the feeling I just had. Once long ago, the Northland was filled with beautiful shrines and towering mechanical castles. So very long ago. And that's where we get our first glimpse of the traditional Final Fantasy mainstay of Lost Civilizations with advanced technology. The dragons of the Cardian Islands have no love of senseless killing. Good to know. Good to know. Ooh, elixir. It is a rare thing to have humans visit us here. If you are valiant warriors, you should speak with Bahamut, our king. Already got you, fella. Once, long ago, there was an age when man and dragon lived together. Yeah? Alright. Living alone in a cave, are you? Hey, come back here. Okay, and one last Kevin. Ah! Worm! Preemptive worm! Worm? Wyrm? How, do, how, do how do you say that? Level up! Oh my gosh, he still didn't get to 600. But he got strength! Hey! Sharoon's catching up with Dagger. Not really. Uh, Vivi breaks 300 and gets strength and stamina because he needs that. All right, here we go. All right, I think that's all the treasure chest, isn't it? Maybe not, what's in here? Only the truly brave can obtain a token of their courage. Well, <laughs> that's me, buddy, you don't even know. And that's all. Dragon Caves, it calls it. And 13 out of 13? There you go. Any more other dra Any more dragons of which to speak of? Maybe there's one up here? No? Alright, let's head on out. Here we go. Bye bye bye. Bye bye, dragons. <sighs> I. Forgot to go stay at the inn. So we'll just head to the closest one, also the cheapest one. And that's here. What do you think? Should I head on into the Citadel of Trials? 
Go ahead and do two things at once. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, here, here it is. Of course, as you know, I can't land here or anywhere near it. Uh, many people like to uh, take a ship up here and park at the river, in the mouth of the river. I do not like that because it makes me have to walk all the way back down there to get my ship. And then I have to sail all the way back down there to get the airship afterwards. So I just find a spot up around here. Alright, I think that's the closest I can get. And then we just walk around. Take a hike with the Desert Beretta. I think these are dangerous. But I don't remember why. That might be why. I might think about running from these in the future. In the future, when all of you are watching this, I might run from all other Desert Berettas that I need. Just because. Okay, there he goes. Bye bye. And the bestiary. Don't have to worry about it. They only give a goal. Good. <laughs> they only give a single gill each. So. Alright. This isn't really that long of a walk either. Um. Hit him with some blizzard. I don't know if they're weak. Does it matter? It doesn't matter. You just, you just hit it with magic. That's what you do. There they go. And here we are. Throw up a tent here. Get back the few magic points I used. Wow, we have level 8 magic charges and no way to get level 8 magic. Uh, all right. uh, just boom. That's good. Save. Let's hop in. You come bearing the crown, I see. Your fortitude cannot be questioned, indeed, not. Very well, I shall grant you the right to undergo the trials. Go now, sit upon the throne. Your courage will be put to the test. If true courage dwells within you, you will find proof of it here. Now here's the burning question. You cannot possibly get to this point of the game without the crown. Why does he check to see if you have a crown? Teleport!
Pillars of Light. Oh gosh. Mind Flayer. Oh, that's a lot of Mind Flayers. Ah, uh, run away. Woohoo, look at that. Let's go. Good job. We possess great courage and we run for the first monster we meet. Ha! Alright. The pillar. Now, oh, now which pillar do we choose? Left, I mean, top or bottom, top or bottom, top or bottom. If we choose wrongly, if we choose poorly, it could be the... If, it could, it could just be really bad, you know? We could teleport into a wall and be lost forever. We could teleport into a, uh, a mob of monsters that mauls us with their mauling claws and mauling teeth and mauling uh, uh, fingernail polish, whatever. Yeah, but I really, really though, it's, uh, it's no good to go the wrong way. You definitely don't want to go the wrong way. Which way is the wrong way? <sighs> you know, they say discretion is the better part of valor, so... I'm going to say that this discretion that I'm choosing here is definitely indicative of my valor. Definitively. Ooh, King Mummy. I like. Very, very nice. Hit him with a big Diaga. Pull out the Diaga stick. One dagger Diaga. Ooh, that's shiny. Treasure! Of course, it's the only treasure on this floor, so grab it! Monster! Huh, they got me! It's a potion! I was expecting monsters. There we go. But well, wouldn't you know it, I guessed my entire way through the maze and never once took a wrong turn. Zara. Oh, that didn't do it anywhere near as much as I hoped it would. Um, okay, here we go. Okay, Let's see if if Dagger's able to run, then we're free, and if Vivi's able to kill them, then we win. Whichever happens first, <laughs> this is good by me. Okay, that works. That works. Hey, 
And this is nice, since we'll only have to fight these guys once coming through here instead of twice to get the treasure. What is it? It's a nightmare! Snort! go one more round snort oh darkness oh, I shouldn't have even wasted the haste what can you do you never know do you healing staff now we're getting into the realm of items that can cast magic spells good Stuff about time. And the light warriors mummies are calling them home for dinner. There we go. All right. Another ice brand. Good stuff. More treasures down below after some more mummies. Then we take a flamethrower to the king mummy. Monsters! Clay golem. All right. Dare I? I dare. Did I need to dare? Not really. Oh gosh. Gauntlets. Cottage. Gill. More gill. And. You obtain a rat's tail. The tail of a rat. The traditional symbol of valor and strength. Worshipped since time immemorial by dragonkind and mankind alike. Today, today is the day that the Light Warriors obtained this venerated symbol and thusly proved both their valor and their courage to the dragons to one another to us to the monsters what am I talking about let's go yeah he's in some the he's in, uh, a dragon zombie nice let's, let's kill it
I can't climb up over the side of the throne. Ah. Ooh, two dragon zombies. All right. Let's get him! Get him! Fyraga! Explosions! Boom! And fire! Flame! Flame sword! Flame sword with fire! Fire on it! Alright! And we're done! We are outies! Back where we started. Save that freaking game, yo. I walk back around. Back to the airship. And then. Oh, we're tigers. Let's fight some for the beast cherry. Get him. Get him faster. There we go. I forgot to put on that ruby armlet. Hey, wyverns! These monsters, by the way, are not susceptible to quake, but maybe this is like to death. Let's try it. Break 600 with an extra strength gain. Saroon gets stats up the wazoo, but not much hit points. Dagger with some goodness, good, good, good. And Vivi with some little goodness here and there. Back to the Shadow Realm. And by Shadow Realm, I mean this cave right here. Do I have to do the voice again? Long has it been since men of courage stood before me. Your bravery seems worthy of consideration. Oh, he's gonna consider us. The rat's tail you carry is a fitting token of courage and strength. So be it. I shall honor you with titles befitting your valor. And here go the wings. Oh, purple, shiny junk. Oh, magic. The magic is happening. The magic is happening, guys! Oh! Oh, wow! Look at that! We got makeovers! We grew up, we got skinnier, and we got makeovers! Achievement unlocked. Token of courage. Would you look at that? Saucy! Sassy, sauce, sass, saucy, sauce, and here we go. Here's the close-up versions. Aren't they so pretty? All right, let's uh, hop on out of here. What the heck am I doing? All right, so next on the agenda is magic shops. Oh, actually, um, 
uh, equipment uh, check. Equipment check. Ruby armlet. Uh, he's in the back row, but he has the least hit points, so he needs the most defense. No shield, no arms yet. But our friend here can now equip armor, so we'll leave the gauntlets out to be used as an item. And yeah, go from there. Healing staff. Black Wizard has tall hair. He can't... what? Am I misremembering? I thought that the Red Mage could use... some of these. Maybe I have him confused with the Ninja. I do generally use a Ninja instead of a Red Mage. That could be it. At least I got the gloves right. I knew he could wear the gloves. And all things being equal, Ice Brand is the better sword, so we'll pop the second one on him. Steel gloves. Worse than the rest of the gloves? Alright. Okay, let's sell some leftovers. Sell some leftovers. Ten out of ten. Good, good. Oof, 5 MP for each magic level. If we can buy either of these later on, that's way OP. OP. Alright. Save everything else here for different scenarios. Flame mail, ice shield, gauntlets for casting. Uh, I don't... I somehow suddenly have the feeling that I may have accidentally sold something with another use, but I can't think of what. So I'm gonna pretend I didn't and we'll just go on with our lives. Oh, right, right. The knight can use uh, magic too. Alright. Uh, I want to erase a spell off the red mage so he can learn blink. Red wizard now, I guess. Let's forget... Forget protect, I guess. And we'll learn blink in his place. Your protect and blink. Okay.
zoom on over to Pravoka. Buy some more magic. They're super cheap, there's really no strategy to it. We don't need blind now, we have eye drops out the wazoo. Just get the others. Null shock. And this. Etc. Just to have them. Maybe I can erase something off of Shiroon now and buy him a black spell to fill in. To Elfland, Elfheim, for the level three and four spells. Is that he can only learn two out of the three spells anyway so there we go I don't think he can even learn any of these no ninja would get level four black spells but level for white spells are forever beyond the grasp of our humble knight. Alright, let's go on to Melmond, get our level 5 spells figured out. Yes, I did fly the wrong way to the city, thank you. Okay, um, what am I here for? Uh, okay, dagger's already full. Oh, um, Sharoon needed life! Yeah, backup life caster. That's what we wanted there. And then, down here. Got teleport for Vivi. Boom. Transports the party to the previous floor. Uh, maybe I should put that on Sharoon too. What would I lose though? Um, would I be able to go without a second Firaga? Second Kuraga? Hmm. Yeah, let's leave it. Let's leave him as he is. I don't think I would need anything that he's got on, but I don't want to go messing with it either. And on to Cres... 
is Sand Lake. For the level 6 magic. Finish buying the spells we can learn now. Okay, what do we got? Um, oh, right. Uh, Shiron can learn some now. Um, Dagger has Invisira and Proterra, so obviously the left over one will be Exit. Teleportation magic at its finest. Uh, what do we have available for black? Let's go black magic. Okay, so the only black magic Shiron can learn is Thundaga, so we'll take that. What are we missing for... No, Vivi's already full. Okay. So we'll go bet two white spells for Shiron. Proterra and Invisira. Alright, choice is made for us. Um, and that's our magic shopping, I think. Let me make sure here. Still don't need a third level 4 spell, they're just useless, sadly. Alright, I guess we're good. And, uh,. Goose will gain some magic points once he gets another level up. So uh, until then, poor guy doesn't get to use his new spells. Sad. Makes me want to cry. A little bit. But that is it. I'm saving my game right there. Level 32, time 9 hours, 7 minutes. We are well into the second half of the game. And... Man, I don't know what we're doing next time. I guess... I guess the next run will be going to uh, level... Um, sorry, going to the northern towns, checking out the shops. Seeing what we can buy for level 7 and 8 magic. Any equipment. We'll run out of money fast. And we'll go from there. Maybe run a dungeon or two and uh, see how it goes. Until then, bye bye I'll talk to you later. And stream out. Goose signing off.